which oh whoa oh, oh, whoa yes we're about to make a path this is a game changer this axe we're about to go places we ain't never been able to go before hell yes okay we now got a bridge okay sweet whoa there we go yeah yeah no problem there what is going on geeks unite the clans here back in yo life with another episode of firewatch this i believe is episode six we got a closed off path up ahead here but i now have an axe block trail clear this mother damn right and i swear guys just for a second there i heard the same song playing yeah that was playing the girls were playing by the lake I swear I'm hearing that right now. No, less. Okay. Let me see if I'm totally crazy. Uh, in the last episode, we came to the scout camp in search of firefighters. Oh, what's this? I missed this entirely. This might be a good tool. Some dirt. I found a little trowel. Maybe I should take it with me. Use it to pop open beers. <laughs> wow. Um, 99% sure that's for Barry. Oh. Pope. And I already touched it. Well. Right. Uh, we came out here to find some firefighters who we hoped might be able to help us break into... Yeah, let's go through that... Tr I, I might be crazy. I'm not hearing music, right? You guys aren't hearing music. You couldn't tell me if you were. There. No. So faint. So faint. I can't. I must be a crazy person. It's all good. Yeah, we were trying to find firefighters who we thought would help us break through this creepy, mysterious chain link fence that Delilah has never heard of and that describes a station called Wapiti Station, which. Wapiti Station. Which. Oh, oh, oh. Yes. We're about to make a path. This is a game changer, this axe. We're about to go places we ain't never been able to go before. Hell yes. Okay, we now got a bridge. Okay, sweet. Whoa, there we go. Yeah, yeah, no problem there. Um, yeah, there's this creepy old spot uh, called Wapiti Station. She said she'd never heard of it. Uh, when I was attacked. I, I had a thought. Yeah, tell me all about it. Let's hear it. You heard someone in the bushes. Yeah. Okay, so let's assume we're being tailed. Or you are, at least. Where are you right now? Just on my way back, in and out of trees in the middle of nowhere. What's Do you that? see anybody? No, definitely not. All right, so uh, tell me what you think of this. <laughs> Did you just cough? No. Did you just cough? Oh fuck. oh, fuck. Um, there isn't any way someone, like, another lookout could be on this line, is there? No. Not without tapping our radios. What does that Get mean? Get in your tower, shut the door, don't leave, and don't use your radio. I'll call you. Understand? I will call you. Jesus, guys. Thoroughfare Tower, this is Two Forks calling you for the, oh, 50th time today. She said she would call us. The flapjack fire continues to move in a southerly fashion. Delilah, for fuck's sake, answer your radio. Hello, sunshine. Sorry, went out for a little bit. What can I do you for? Well... Uh, you can do me for a trip out of here. I don't care if it's on horseback or a helicopter or in a canoe. Just get me out of here. Henry, we have work left to do. Let's chat about what's bothering you and you'll feel better. Are you serious? Let's talk. Okay? Uh, okay. By the way, I was wondering if your flora of the Shoshone info poster was still up inside your tower? What? It's just protocol that those stay up. You know, info about your tower, the surrounding tree species, etc. Uh, uh, all right. Just, you know, have a look at it. Make sure it's in ship shape. 
Okay. Is this some kind of code? Okay, yeah, it's up. Why are you acting like this? Great. Just wonderful. Do you see the tree in the top row, second from the left? Sure. It's the, uh... No. You don't need to tell me. Just, um, internalize it. it it's a great tree. And there's an area called, um, that tree's name in your sector that... Maybe you should take oh, a mid day code. Hike to. Hell yes. Maybe. Go to Cottonwood Creek. Oh, uh, yeah, okay. Uh, maybe I should go for a hike. Nothing like an afternoon in the Rockies, I tell you. Radio me the moment you get there. She is. Maybe she's trying to cut off the interference, or maybe she's going to meet me there. Her lookout is up there. And the smoke is getting a lot worse. It is starting to cloud the sky. There's some crazy big conspiracy going on, and I don't know who to trust. But we only know one person, really. So, I mean, maybe we should trust her. I'm just assuming she's up in that tower. Just assuming. Uh, I really don't know. Alright, Cottonwood Creek. There. Okay. Oh, hey, maybe I can go this way. There's a fire break down here. Right. Yes, look. Wow. Wow, that fire's getting big. Sorry for the constant map checking geeks, I want to make sure I don't get too turned around on my way here. I think we are taking a shortcut we haven't taken before. Any caches around here? Yeah, cache 307. Sweet. It was on the other side of this river. We couldn't get there. Um, let's see if we can get there now. Can I cross this river? Yeah, yeah, I can cross this river. Uh, hop, skip, and a jump. There we go. There you go. Okay, cool. I wonder what we got hiding in here. Watch your back. Watch your damn back out here. This game has got me hooked, guys. Uh, I am recording in the same night. I have yet again changed my shirt just so that you have some interesting flannel to look at. I got a multitude of these shirts, so... Uh, here's the map. Copy the info down to Two Forks and to the lake. Okay, so there's more shortcuts. Let's have a look at the old map here. Yes, okay, cool. So we just need to go... Uh, need to go south. Okay. Uh, anything else good in here? Jane, Jane Eyre. A Chance to Die. Whoa, this is another Richard Sturgeon mystery novel. The first book in the Crime by Numbers from the author of the best-selling Spectrum Spy series. Okay. Waste of time. What do we got? Terminal 7 by Richard Sturgeon. Now, a major motion picture starring Anders Nelson. Okay. More crap. The Accidental Savior by Terrence L. Greenbrier. That looks like Kennedy, doesn't it? John Russell knows the president's life hangs in the balance. Who would believe him? 65 cents, so we'll that for. Old toilet paper. Uh, old toilet paper. I found one of these ones that had like a, a false bottom. And so now I'm intent on taking all the crap out of them. Here's another note. Ron. Really wish the powers that would be could issue us radios that didn't suck ass. Most of the time, I'd prefer to keep things pen to paper. Huh. I wonder why they were doing that. Maybe they had to keep their conversation a secret. My sister keeps leaving me messages at the main office, but I don't think she gets that I took the job so I wouldn't have to deal with her or mom. I've been sitting at the spot for a while now, thinking about what to say to her. But I'm a quarter way through this bottle of Fife's instead. Miss you, Dave. I think Dave and Ron might have been lovers, y'all. 
I've never written miss you on a note to another man. Uh, unless it's been like a really long time since, even then, I may never have written that. I think this is the way we're supposed to go. Go to Cottonwood Creek. Go to Cottonwood Creek where you think I'm headed. This is right in the area where I got ganked. I mean, I guess we were at Jonesy Lake, but this is still close. And go right. Yeah, go right and past the big tree. Cottonwood Creek. Come on, Delilah, you ain't gonna meet me out of here, right? Jeez, she is clever. She is clever. There's that big-ass creepy tree. Found a ski leaning up against it. <sighs> Big tree and a ski. Is this not it? Okay, we're almost there. Cache 308, just ahead. Cottonwood freaking creek. This does look like a cottonwood tree. Yeah. Yeah. Don't say the word Cottonwood Creek. Uh, I'm here at Cottonwood Creek. Shh, idiot. Do you see the cash box there? Uh, it must be around here somewhere. It is. Find it and open it. I changed the code. It's 5678. Are you kidding me? I was in a rush. <laughs> Okay. Whoa. Is that a new radio? I've got it now. Good. I spent all day getting you that radio. I hiked to a cash box, lied to a ranger, lied to another ranger, and hopefully you are now holding a clean, untapped radio. Hopefully. Holy fuck, Henry, we have to get into that site. Yeah, damn right. Whatever these people are doing is illegal, right? We you need are to find in out on this? how they're doing it, why, everything. You understand? Uh, maybe she is. What the fuck is going on? People are listening to us? I don't know. Our radios are tapped? Are you fucking serious? Radios are definitely tapped. That's why I left you the one you just got. How, how, how is this even possible? I don't know, Henry. What do you know? Yeah, I'm, I'm holding scared. on to that. None of it makes any sense. Am I just making all of this up? I mean, the eavesdropping, the spying, is this... Fuck, are you... Are you is any of this real? What? Are you serious? Maybe I'm, I'm just, maybe I'm just losing my mind. What? Like Julia. And maybe it's happening to me and, and I'm imagining that I have a boss out here and that we're being spied on. Henry. Maybe there was something in the water or our condo was underneath some power lines and, and you, Delilah, you're not real. That's one Henry, possibility. Henry, think about her. If what happened to her were happening to you, you wouldn't even be able to realize it. Okay. Henry, sweetie, I am real and this is happening. I'm as real as the sky is blue. Take a second and then call me back. I'm on your side. I want to trust her. I really want to trust Delilah. Uh, where do you think we need to head? Wapiti Meadow. That is a heck of a ways away across the river and this way. Okay, well, let's call her. I can't stand around and not talk. Okay, I'm all right. I'm, uh, I'm headed towards the site. Good. Keep your head up. No, wrong way. Wrong freaking way. All right, this way. Yes, I think I have to... Is there a, uh, a line I have to climb? I can't remember. It's been a while. Um, been a freaking while. A new radio. I kept the old one as evidence. Is that against Delilah? Is that what that means? Because I had an option to tell her she was to, to go, you're in on it. 
you're in on this. Like, you're all messing hey, with me. Uh, I just thought of something not, um, not great. Uh-huh. What is it? I filed a report that said that neither of us ever talked to or saw those girls, the ones that went missing Why? two weeks back. What? Why would you do that? I told you to say the minimum and just keep it vague. I know. And I didn't. I, I, I just didn't want to be hassled. And now someone probably has a transcript of that entire conversation. And I've filed a report that's a blatant lie. Oh, and those girls are still missing. Oh, geez. Yep. After all this time? Oh, here's a sign. Probably not directing me to Wapiti Meadow, are they? Wapiti. Wapiti. Say it right, UTC. Um. Okay, I got a freaking way to go. Don't I? Alright, guys. Give me a sec. I'm gonna come back with you. <sighs> at some point soon. Okay. Uh... I just heard something. What is it? I, I don't know. It was goddamn terrifying, though. I think it was an elk well, or something. It could be an elk, or I recognize it that could noise. Be someone trying to get you to radio about a loud noise so they know where you are. Oh, fuck. How about you don't do that again? Yeah, that was it. Maybe a fake elk call. Yeah, they're thinking I've just gone silent. Uh, I should keep... Am I stuck on this rock? There we go. Uh, I should keep using that other radio, don't you think? To, like, fake it? That's what I'm thinking. I was gonna stop playing. This is all in that first session. Second session, I guess. But uh, first day, the day the game came out, I'm still recording. Um, and I thought I was going to stop after episode five, whatever the last one was. But um, I can't. This is too intense. Too freaking exciting. We're back towards, yeah, Cripple Gulch. I recognize this a mile away. Been here, done that. Um, but I can't stop playing. The game has hooked me in. Uh, from the moment I got smacked in the back of the head when I thought I was about to go fishing. Whoa, the flapjack fire isn't going anywhere, huh? No, that's why those guys came out to burn that line. It's at the stage where all we can do is pay attention to it. Wow. They're not gonna try to put it out? Not yet, apparently. And I'm walking straight into this mother. We are headed straight for this fence, and we had a long conversation about the fence. They know we know about it, um, but it's still here. I think they heard me trying to break the lock and everything. I am just on a razor's edge right now. I don't have... Whoa, 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 hearing weird noises. Pry open. <coughs> That's it. I smashed open the gate. Should I try to fix or hide this? No, screw it. Okay then. Whoa! Whoa! To be. Ow! That might not be a normal bee. I got stung by a bee. What if it's some weird government drone? Is, oh. is that it? Yeah. Did it? Did it hurt? Yes, kind of. Okay, I'm, I'm sorry. Wapiti Station personnel, if you are trying to reach Dr. Simmons, he is on site from August 15th to October 15th. Whoa, watch your frickin' back. University-owned equipment is the responsibility of Dr. Johnson. Government-owned equipment is under the purview of Cat Ferdinand. Remember, this is a controlled area and any issues malfunctions or violations should be reported immediately. Let's put this fucker back. 
I, uh, I don't usually swear much in my Let's Plays, but this game is full of it. This is weird. This is very weird. There's no sneak. No way to sneak at all. Um, get this camera out, just in case anything freaky happens. I want to snap a quick one of it. Good, we can run with the camera out. I'm trying to find a hidden secret station out here. I hope the camera HUD isn't bothering you too much, but yes, yes. Yes, yes, look what I found. Man, that sun is freaking creepy. I hear a chopper. Put the camera away. I hear a freaking chopper. Bees, maybe it's bees. No, it's the generator. Okay, relax. Okay, I'm at the site. I don't see anybody around. Lucky for us. Yeah, lucky for us. D, there is some serious comms equipment out here, wireless stuff. What do you mean? I'm talking a big 20-foot <gasps> tall transmission oh, tower. Oh, God. I mean, they could probably listen to whoever the hell they want. They're nestled down in this valley, which makes it impossible for you or any lookout to see them. What the hell is going on, and why is that sun so creepy? here I got a tent and some this is it this is this looks like archaeology yeah, they're doing something with the soil out here too it's all gridded off uh, who knows what else they're up to beeping equipment that bee that bee worries me guys and there is all sorts of contraptions and shit out here like what dishes and stuff on metal legs there are wires all over the place I don't know I'm not really up on high tech I'm in their main tent what's it like it's definitely some sort of monitoring station whoa wow this might be how they've been listening in keep your eyes open Follow the beeping. Okay, uh, let's. Hey, can I put this away? Uh, okay, this thing is losing its mind, beeping like crazy. I can hear it. What, what's it after? I don't know. I'm gonna go find out. I found their main monitoring desk. You should get out before they come back. No, no, no. There's a box here with a dial. It has a needle, like it measures earthquakes. This place sleeps three. They've got a row of cots here. I want to know what that thing finds. Look, you should get out before they come back. Uh, yeah, so yeah. where they are. All, all of their stuff is here. Figure out what that thing does, and then get the hell out. Okay. Shit. Got another clipboard here that confirms that they're tracking our movements. Frequent departure from two forks. Avoidance behaviors. Subjects. Consult previous data. Unreciprocated uh, yeah, desire for me. copulation, conflict with other males, disproportionate you? food intake. Maybe the Goodwins? What if they were following them last summer? God, Henry, I don't know. If they were, there's no way Brian knew. He would have said something. Yeah, I can't imagine a kid like that could have kept this under his hat. We'll talk this over and figure out how to get the hell out of here. Okay. Locates any strong signal. Green light. Target straight ahead. Distance light equals strength of signal. Tone equals source of signal discovered. Wow. They got a map here too. Let me make sure I copy down this. Put that away. How do I get the device out? Is that her tower? Okay, guys, I think I am going to have to take a break here. 
we have discovered something. It may just be a weather monitoring station, but they're clearly listening to us. Maybe only to keep us out, but then who would have hit me in the head? And who was that creep up by my tower at the beginning of the game? Uh, I'll come back with you with more uncovering this mystery in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching. Listen to this music. This shows you it's 1989. Wow. Is that a guy over there? Oh boy. Enjoy dealing with that. I know you guys are setting up bottle rockets out here, okay? How? Because they're hiding in the bushes, spying on us. Shut it, kids. Hey, I see plenty of boobs.